Congratulations on your purchase of a Sniper Series Extractor by Sandia. After receiving your product, thoroughly inspect your box for any visual shipping damage. Carefully remove the staples from the box using a screwdriver to pull the staples out slightly so you can grasp them firmly with a pair of pliers. Be careful not to injure yourself with the sharp ends of the staples. Remove the loose contents of the box, checking to make sure you have two 25-foot yellow safety cords with illuminating ends, as well as the owner's manual. To remove your extractor from the box, open all four flaps and grab a hold of the handle of the unit, pulling the box towards you while tilting it back and carefully laying it flat down on the ground. The handle will now be lying toward you on the ground. With one hand, grab the handle of the unit and roll the extractor out while holding the box in place with your other hand. Tilt the machine up on its casters and inspect it for any visual damage. The 2500 and 3500 models are available only in 12 gallon sizes. The 2500 indicates dual two-stage vacuum motors and a 500 psi pump. The 3500 indicates dual three-stage motors and a 500 psi pump. Although the vacuum motors themselves and the way they are mounted may differ, both of these machines operate exactly the same. The two-stage vacuum motor is very similar to the three-stage vacuum motor other than a slightly larger motor winding and the addition of a third set of fans increasing the airflow and lift of the motor. Three-stage motors are particularly effective when used in high altitudes due to the lack of air density. When opening the machine, bring the latch out and rotate it. You can now lift the casing and expose the internal parts of your sniper. The equipment is quite simple and easy to use. Each machine has two vacuum motors and a 500 psi solution pump. Notice the top of your Amatec motor has a cooling fan. Sandia uses an exclusive inducting system that brings cool air from the outside of the motor cavity over your Amatec motor, ensuring the longest motor life possible. On the back of the machine, make sure the Valterra dump valve is in the closed position, pushed all the way down. If you've received a machine that's been winterized, note the yellow caution sticker on the top of the machine. Read it thoroughly and follow the instructions to run one gallon of water through the system prior to use. On the top of the machine, locate the black twist lock access port. Lift the tab and turn it to the 90 degree position. Reach in and remove the vacuum restrictor ball float. Shake it and verify the ball inside is free flowing. Put the ball float back into the tank and replace the lid. Lift the front solution tank lid to verify that the acorn strainer is on the solution inlet. Don't be surprised if you find water in your machine as it has been tested to ensure the highest possible quality. Now it's time to fill the solution tank with the solution of your choice. Be sure to use the manufacturer's recommended dilution. Exceeding that recommendation may damage the liquid pump. Fill to just below the rim and connect your hoses for operation. Take the brass male quick disconnect and attach it to the female quick disconnect on the extractor. Slide back the actuating ring and push the male plug into the female receptacle. Connect the vacuum hose to the male barb on the front of the machine, pulling left to right as you push. Follow the same procedure on the carpet wand. Locate the on-off switches and make sure they are all in the off position. You're now ready to attach the electrical supply to your extractor. Attach the yellow safety power cord to the pigtail on the back of the machine. Plug it into an electrical outlet and the end will illuminate. Turn the pump on. Position the carpet wand facing down into a five gallon bucket. Squeeze the wand handle for one minute. This procedure removes all antifreeze. Antifreeze vapor may be harmful if you breathe it in. Dispose immediately into a proper drain. Set your gauge to your desired pressure for cleaning. After this is complete, turn the vacuum motors on and you're ready to go. Please follow CRI approved cleaning procedures for all your work. Periodically remove the recovery tank hatch cover and inspect your vacuum restrictor for debris.
After you're finished, turn the pump off. Remove the vacuum hose from the wand and insert the end of the vacuum hose into the solution tank to remove the remaining cleaning solution. Keep the hose slightly angled so it doesn't suction onto the bottom of the machine. To eliminate any chemical buildup in the pump lines and wand, take one gallon of clean water, put it in the solution tank, and run it through your system. Turn off the vacuum motors and release the pressure from the wand by squeezing the handle before you disconnect the hose from the machine. Go to the back of the machine to unplug the power cords and place your five gallon pail under the Valterra dump valve. Pull up on the valve slowly to drain the recovery tank into the bucket. When you're finished, be sure to close the valve completely. Dispose of wastewater in an appropriate drain. You're now finished and ready to pack up. Be sure to take your power cords, hoses, and wand with you. Team Sandia really appreciates your business. If we can be of any further assistance, please give us a call.